Hey streamers, Matt Clark here. Netflix has released all 13 episodes of the first season of Marvel's Daredevil on April 10th. I just finished watching the first episode and want to give you my thoughts and let you know if it is worth your time to check out. Daredevil is about attorney Matt Murdock, blind attorney by day, masked vigilante at night, and it's a character that I've always found kind of fascinating because I really enjoy the symbolism and the imagery associated with Daredevil. We have a blind attorney because Justice is blind. He's the daredevil and lives in Hell's Kitchen, which is a neighborhood in Manhattan, for those that aren't aware. And I've always liked the tug, of the inner turmoil that Matt has because uh, his, his, he, he's very strongly influenced by his Catholic upbringing, but he knows to exact revenge and, and submits justice to the criminals that he chases, he has to step outside of what he thinks would be being a good Christian. Although Jesus did turn over a few tables in his day as well. But anyway, uh, on to the review. I think this is a great setup for the season. We meet most but not all of the main characters that we're going to meet this year. Um, and, and we find out little clues, we get little clues about what their agenda are, but don't fully know what each character is, what motivates them. And I think this is handled really well for the first episode. I can tell that this is going to be a more uh, character-driven uh, show and, 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 and deal more with relationships and big action set pieces, although there are a couple of great fight scenes with some great choreography. So don't worry, it's not all talking, but we are building characters and relationships, and this was done really well in a couple of scenes where characters are telling stories, and the camera would just linger on them, and I really appreciated that. We're so used to things cutting around and being able to see different areas of the room, but the camera just stayed on it, and we got the actor doing what they do best, telling the stories that they wanted to communicate, and I thought that was done beautifully. Um, oh, it's easy to tell that this is under budget restrictions, unfortunately. There are a couple of things that looked very television. Unfortunately, right off the bat, the first scene that we open with is a car accident, and it's staged um, the way that they do TV where they don't really want to wreck the cars because they're just renting them, I suppose. So they have the cars just inches apart and we show up in the aftermath of the accident and we have people sitting on the ground with their back up against the side of the car being tended to and your brain's supposed to feel on that a car accident has just happened so that they don't have to actually ruin any cars. So that was a little cheesy. There's some other things that were in that vein. Some extras that were overacting, and um, one thing that bothered me is that the scenes that were shot at night were very dark, and it was sometimes difficult to make out what was happening. I caught myself leaning forward trying to make out what was going on. It, it's kind of difficult because Daredevil's costume that he wears in this first episode is all black, so it's hard to distinguish between the costume and the shadows that he's in. Great for being stealthy, but you know, hard on the viewer. I know that the character is blind, but I think I'm supposed to be able to see what's going on. That, that, that was kind of a, a, a weak point of it. The acting on most of the main characters is very strong, most notably Charlie Cox, who plays Matt Murdock slash Daredevil, and uh, Deborah Ann Wool, who plays Karen Page, who is Matt's first client after he passes the bar exam. Unfortunately for the character Foggy Nelson, who is Matt's partner at the law firm, less is more for me. I hope that the creators found other ways to use him that weren't so much in the forefront in the rest of the season. Now, they've already shot all of it, so we'll see what they decided to do with him. But for my money, I could use less of Foggy. But other than that, I really enjoyed it, the first episode. I'm looking forward to watching the rest of the season and plan on uh, filming a season one review video after that. Uh, just one other thing, this is definitely intended for 
an adult audience. It does not pander for the kids at all. You do see blood. There's plenty of dangerous situations. And one instance of the human anatomy, although pretty tame, would be inappropriate for the kiddos. So those are my thoughts on the first episode of Daredevil. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.